And now, suspense. time and things are going to be tough enough without you bringing all that old stuff up. Oh, come on. Oh, Kip, why don't you give us something right from the inside? What is it you want to do? Well, boss McLean here has been visiting me up at the pen. He's got a job for me. Uh, we mean, uh, what are you really after? Well, I want to go straight. I want to see if I can kind of fit into things better than I was before. Get closer to people. I'll be a good guy, that's all. What a beautiful, gorgeous conversion. Oh, give him a break, will you, fellas? Come on, he'll be around for a long time. <laughs> hey, uh, guess you want to go on up to your room and wash up, huh? Yeah, I would, Mr. McClain. Well, I'll see if I can scout up uh, Jenkins. You won't be long. Nah, five minutes. All right. Hey, McLean. Yeah. Is there anything to this uh, parole board job for, for Kip? I couldn't say, fellas, not now. Why don't you give it? Hi, Joey. Good evening, Mr. McClane. Uh, nice to see you. Thank you. Signed, sealed, and delivered? Well, let's say delivered, huh? You didn't tell him about the job? That boy's been out of jail exactly one hour. He's got a lot of high-blown ideas, none of which exactly include working in your dining room. Now, look here, McLean. You told me that this was all set. Oh, I told you he'd work for you. I didn't say he'd like it. I said he'd do it. Does he, eh? Then we saw the mob in the hotel lobby. Reporters, big shot politicians like Boss McLean. Very fancy. You got the whole town wide open, kid. Now, don't be a chump, will you, Joe? Oh, me a chump? Say, this is your old friend, Joe Joe Foley. I'm your old buddy, you know. I used to hold the light to the, to the biggest cans you ever crack. It's gone and forgotten, Joe. I mean it. I put you, mean it. You're not putting this holy Joe routine on for nothing. Well, Joe, is the way I see it. You can take it or leave it. I went to that pen ten years ago, I felt big about it. I wasn't a safe in the whole country I couldn't crack like it open a can of tomatoes. Big guy, that was me. We were all of us big, the best in the country. Best in the jail. I took a look around me, Joe. Safe crackers, cheap punks, killers, hophead. All trying to be big men, all wanting to be different. I don't play in that league no more. Yeah, well, you try playing in any other league. You just try it, see? I ain't ten to. You're not different than the rest of us, Kipper. A little bigger, maybe. But you had stripes down your back just like the rest of us. And those fancy friends of yours are going to see that you never forget it. Oh, get out of here. Forget it. You got to come home to roost, Kipper. That's a prediction. Get out. We got a date, Kipper. Tomorrow, a week. It might take a month. But we got a date. <laughs>
cigarettes, please? Brand? I don't care anything. You pick it out, huh? Thanks. That'll be 25 cents, please. No, no, you keep that. Oh, look. Just you've got such a nice face. I'm and you to have a very me. fancy reputation, Mr. Cayley. But I'm not Snow Dunn. Look, miss, I wasn't trying to pull anything, really. I just wanted to be friendly. I wanted to talk to you, that's all. Hey, get... Kip? Kip, I'd like you to meet Bill Jenkins. Bill runs the hotel. Glad to know you, Mr. Jenkins. Likewise. I've heard a lot about you, Kip. Yeah. And I'm here to say that you weren't overestimated. You got a lot of talent, Kip. How'd you like to work for me in my dining room? Think you could shake a few hands for 75 bucks a week? Well, it's not that I don't appreciate your offer. All right, 85. Oh, 75 is plenty for shaking hands, but... There was something else I had in mind I was kind of hoping I'd get. Mr. McLean, you, you said something about getting me on the parole board. Kip. The work you did in jail was more than impressive. More than a reformation. Oh, I, I think you proved what a valuable citizen you could be still. There are problems. So you mean for an ex-con, huh? Yes, Kip. Oh, I'm not going back on my promise. I know what a whale of a job you could do on that parole board, and I mean to see that you get your chance. Oh, I know you hadn't forgotten, but... Of course not. See, shaking hands, being a big shot again, it just makes me think of a lot of things I'd rather forget. Yeah, of course, Kip, but uh, you know, for a while, until uh, I can sort of smooth things over. You want me to? Yeah, take Jenkins' offer. Okay. It'll work out. And I'll have the gratification of knowing I've done two of my very dear friends a good turn. When do I start, Mr. Jenkins? People eat dinner every night, starting in about two hours. Well, it gives me a little time. I can take a walk. I'll drop in off and see you, Kip. If you need anything in the meantime, just phone me. Okay, thanks. I appreciate that. I wish he'd signed the contract. He didn't seem too happy about the job. Oh, he'll stick as long as I want him to stick. And what's this talk about the parole board? You're not really serious about putting an ex-con on the parole board. for more than a week. I tried to talk to you, remember? Yes, I do remember. I couldn't believe that was all it was. I, I couldn't believe you just wanted to be my friend, but now I do. Julia, that means a lot to me. You know how much. After a night in there. Yes. Why don't you get out of this? Find a new place. This is not for you. Oh, I've got something else. That's why I stuck this long. See, Mr. McLean's going to get me on the parole board, and he just asked me to trying to take this as long as I could take it until he could get things straightened out for me. Well, I don't want to let him down. You're wide open, Kip. You've got a heart full of faith. Not everybody's that nice. Not everybody, just my friends. Are you sure Boss McLean's your friend? He's done a lot for me. Maybe you've done a lot for him. Well, he used to come up and see me in the prison. He wouldn't do that unless he was really interested, would he? Kip, I've been talking too much. No, please. Kip. Boss McLean has a reputation for being a big shot. He gets his picture in the papers. He eats dinner with people like the mayors and such. 
He helps decent guys like you get a new start. Well, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, sure. Then he puts you in a job like this. And that's not good. Good for Jenkins. Good for the business. Very good for Boss McLean because he owns part of the joint. But not good for Kip Taylor. Okay, maybe he does. He's still been a decent guy to me. Okay, Kip. I've got to get there. You finished work? Yes. What do you do? Take a bus or walk home? I take a bus and sometimes I walk home. You want to take a walk? Yeah. I'd like that very much. I'll be right back. What do you say, Kip? There are people waiting. McLean. I'm trying to get in touch with Not you. Not just now, Kip. I, I've got an appointment. Huh? Okay. Well, it's still there. Put a full dress on it. Put a smile on his face. But it's still Kip Cayley. Well, you're being a little hard on the boy, Fred. <laughs> we'll see. Kip, didn't you ever want to kill anybody? No. But you did carry a gun. Well, excuse me a minute. When the police caught you, you would have used oh, your gun if you could have, wouldn't you? <laughs> Down there at City Hall. Yeah. I was talking to this fellow over there. The recorders. Look, Mr. Recorders. McLean. I don't think I can take much more of this job. I wondered if you had that other thing you were talking about. Time. Why don't you call? I tried to call, Mr. McLean. I know this isn't the time. That's right. It's not the time. Give the boy a minute. You don't recognize me, do you? Have the years wreaked such havoc? You think a man would recognize the man who put him behind prison bars, wouldn't you? You're Judge Ford. McLean tells me you're interested in... Uh, Getting on the parole board. Yes. What do you know about the parole board? Well, I've worked with prisoners. I know what they need. I know. I know I can help them. The parole board's a good place to do that. You know that I'm the chairman of the parole board. You know that I laughed in McLean's face when your name was suggested. And you know what your friend McLean did? He laughed with me. What's so funny? Look, all I asked for was a chance. Is that something to laugh at? You're a judge. Don't you believe in giving a guy a break even if you don't like him? Keep your voice down, Carrie. Look, what are you seeing there? I'd like to know. Tell me. Come on. Good evening, Carrie. What's the matter? You're too busy. You can't talk to me. Is that it? Look, I took you ten years. If you wanted more, why didn't you give it to me? I'd give it to you. Take a look at yourself in that mirror over there. Violence. All violence. You're walking around with a bomb in your pocket. Disappointed in you, Kelly. You let me down. <laughs> yeah. I guess the chip is just about ready to listen to us, eh? I did your favor. I broke it. Feeling sorry for yourself, Kip? Yeah, that's right. I'm feeling sorry for myself. Gee, I was blind. It was a big blind clown. Don't say that. How else can you figure it? Joe Foley called it a holy roll routine. Is that what they all thought? 
The alderman, the judge, Jenkins, all of them, they all think it was an act. People that's good to you. They like you. They trust you. Yeah. Played me for a patsy. Glad handers for the cheap thrill. They got out shaking hands with a bank, bank robber. Jenkins for a couple of dollars worth of business. The alderman for some lousy publicity. You're not seeing it very straight, Kip. I'm seeing it straight for the first time in years. All right. Why don't you go out and rob a bank? Make them right. Follow through. What's it to you? Kip, I... I don't know. Come on, tell me. I, it's important. You know how you stand with me. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Oh, Kip! Oh, oh. This is crazy. We haven't spoken three words to each other. No, it isn't. Ever since that first day when I saw you talking to the reporter, telling him what you wanted to be, I knew you meant it. Kip, I loved you then. I wanted to talk to you and you jumped right down my throat. That was because I was in love with you. Anything that good you've got to fight against. You can't possibly believe you have it coming to you. Julie, look, I'm no good. Yes, you are. To me, you are. I wouldn't bring you any luck. Chip, don't leave me. Please stay with me. It wouldn't work, Julie. Yes, it will. I'll help you. Chip, don't. I'll get you some coffee. Julie, it's not that easy. Maybe it is. Please, please let me try. I'll get that coffee and I'll be right back. Guys, knock. But it was open, Kip. So you really gave it to the judge, Kipper boy. I was proud of you. Now what do you got to say, huh? Where do you stand now? I don't know. I'm not sure. You're not sure? That's right. These fancy friends of yours, what do they give you? A pat on the back and a kick in the teeth, right? How much have you got? Nothing. Hey, look, Kipper. Now, ten blocks from here is a little factory. Johnson and Company. At 8.15. A black sedan pulls up and an old armed guard and a young girl get out. They walk ten foot to a shack where they count the loot. About fifteen thousand dollars. We've been watching this place for three weeks. Here's a fence, and there's an alley, and here's a car. A softy, Kipper. We're bucking time. Me and Hack can pull it alone, but we figured another experienced hand. Oh, shut up. You checked it alone, you can pull it off alone. Then why am I here? Because you hate my guts. You can't go straight, Joe. You couldn't do it in a hundred years. I can't. It drives you crazy, don't it? That's if they kept one word, yes or no. I told you no. You hate the whole world, Foley. You want me in the same boat with you, don't you? I don't hate that way. I hate the mugs downstairs, maybe even you. Not everybody. They haven't all got an angle. You're cockeyed, a screwball. Yeah, sure. Some guys just never get wise. It makes me sad. Sometimes a little disgusted. Yeah, you think he knows too much? All right, forget it, Kip. I would never have said that. You dumb slob, you think Kip Kelly was still on us? Take it easy, Joe. Kip! You didn't go with us. Oh, I was so afraid. I'm glad, I'm glad. The men that were here. What do you mean? You heard what they said? Tell me, Julie! I didn't want you to get hurt. I... What'd you do? I called the police. Do what? I, I told them it was your idea that you wanted them picked up. I wanted them picked up. Julie, don't you see what you did? I made a school picture out of it. Don't kick, you're not going. Oh. You won't go. Keep no! Don't go, kid! Just a couple of minutes, huh? 
Jojo. Let me see them now. Change your mind. Look, see, it's hit so up. It's got a whole set of the cops are all over the joint. Come on, let's get out. Hold it, boys! Oh. Oh. Change. Liver con, die a con. <laughs> 